What the hell are kinematics anyways? How the bike goes boing. You want the squish good or squish bad? Squish great. Should we talk about this bike? Ideal ride on the Instinct? I don't know. Over two hours, under six hours. It's so sick, could almost be my favorite bike. Ooh, ideal ride on the Instinct. Hard effort pedaling up. One and a half hour ride where you smash up and then smash down. It's super lightweight, so if you inadvertently end up on a five or six hour ride, 3000 meters of climbing, you know, 50 plus K. What's at home doing that as well as the, you know, that one hour post work ride. The first Instinct actually came out in 1999. It was actually a pretty cool bike. It was silver and black and it had that classic rocky maple leaf paint job. My first time on the Instinct was actually this model. I've kind of been holding back because I always thought it was just short travel trail bike. But uh, this thing kind of changed my mind. It's kind of a do it all bike. You know, does, if you don't know the situation you're heading into, grab your Instinct. It's our quintessential trail bike in the lineup. So it has 140 mils of travel in the back and is equipped with a 150 mil travel fork. Some special models will have an extra 10 mils of travel front and back. Um, and then all the frames are tested with a 160 millimeter fork. It comes in six frame sizes from extra small to extra large. And the small actually comes in two distinct sizes one with a 27 5 inch wheel set and then one with a 29 inch wheel set and those are different frames we will have two alloy price points and then four carbon price points so uh, six price points altogether. the c99 bike is making a comeback with the release of this new 2024 platform it's decked out in sram's flight attendant suspension there's a pretty good match for this bike um, just to have a platform that's you know, pretty efficient and yet capable when you need it to be. It's gonna come decked out in all of SRAM's high-end parts, their transmission drivetrain. It gets its own unique paint job. We actually tied in the Wordmark uh, color, so it's a cool chrome uh, color, and it matches the decals on the flight attendant suspension. Oh, it almost blew away, hang on, sorry. <laughs> it's because it's so light. And you'll notice that on this frame, it's a size small and um, it has a kink in the top tube. And that's because on those smaller sizes, uh, we really pay attention to stand over height to make sure that shorter stature riders can fit the bikes uh, comfortably. I mean, at a first glance, some might think that it's, you know, it looks similar to the previous generation Instinct, but there's quite a few new details where we sought to bring some improvement to that bike um, and just kind of make it you know, better. So, I mean, first, the main point is all new tube shape to increase stiffness in the frame. We came out with a second gen uh, storage design that can now hold a water bottle. The water bottle mount is pretty sturdy. Like I've been thrashing that through bushes, hauling it on my back with all kinds of stuff on there and uh, haven't had any issues. Yeah, it's got big paddle here, easy to reach, one finger, four fingers and it's got two clasps for now instead of one. Super solid. It uh, will still have our uh, tube purse and our, um, our tool wrap. Those items are padded so they don't knock around or make any noise. It goes the whole length, right? Yeah, yeah, you can fit jackets, jerseys, food, you know, if it fits in there and it uh, doesn't rattle around, then, you know, experiment a little. Yeah, I put a whole calibrate salami in mine. Nice. Inside the storage compartment, you have the ability to change your routing path for your rear brake so that you could have moto routing or regular routing. Another cool feature too is it has a air tag and tile compartment so that you can put a tracker in there. We updated the geometry in the bike ever so slightly. So the head tube angle went from a 65.7 to 64. The C tube angle steepened to 78 degrees. And the other geometry point to touch on is the C tube lengths actually got shorter on every frame size so that you can fit longer dropper posts. Yeah, no, I really like the uh, C tube angle. It, the climbing uh, made it a lot easier for me. And then the 
What I really noticed was the new head tube angle. The 64 was super sick for descending. How tall are you? A five, six, five, seven ish. What frame size are you riding? I'm riding a medium. So what size dropper post? It's a 170, man. Yeah, it's a 170. So medium with a 170 mil dropper. So a little bit taller stack height and fits you no problem. Nice. Yeah, no, it works perfect. Some keen observers might notice that we got rid of the modular shock mount, but that was part of decreasing uh, the, the frame weight. Pretty popular feature from the old Instinct is it was a super adjustable bike. We tried to keep as much of that adjustability. We kept the two position rear axle adjustment system. And then we actually updated our Ride 9 into a Ride 4. And the reason for that is the Ride 4 works better with a single tool, a single Allen key. Whereas the Ride 9, you need two Allen keys. Also the Ride 4 is a lot easier to uh, understand and um, feel the effects of the geometry change. And then a, a new feature we added for adjustability is all the carbon and alloy frames will come with reach adjust headset. You'll have the ability to adjust the frame reach by a plus or minus five millimeters from what the geometry chart states. So on the topic of adjustability, what Ride 4 setting are you in on your bike? Well, I'm in slack. Low, stable. Do you know what cup setup you have on your frame? Yeah, I'm in, I'm in neutral, but uh, I think I'm gonna experiment with the shoulder position because of my little chicken arms there. Yeah, so you're on a medium frame, but you, you feel like you got your arms are a bit shorter and... Yeah, we'll see. I, I really like it in neutral, but I'll try it out. Why not? We take frame protection pretty seriously. Um, it's actually kind of wild how much time we spend on it, but the, the frames come with chain state protector, a seat state protector, down tube protector, pretty common. We include two shuttle guards so you can space those exactly where they need to be based on where the bike hits, uh, you know, your truck's tailgate. We also include a chain guide. So we have our own custom mount that ties into our main pivot hardware, but every uh, chain guide arm, we use a one up upper guide. So to summarize what you've just been saying, this bike is basically a do-it-all bike. Like it's a good trail bike for almost anybody. Yeah, I mean, it's got good size range, good geo, good suspension design, kind of positions itself in the middle of, um, you know, the bell curve of bikes and it's the do-it-all bike. Well, I've been grabbing mine every time lately. Nice. Tell me how cold you are right now. Dude, I am so cold right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's, it's uh, like zero right now. Yeah, I think I want a, some HC or get out of here. I'm, I'm, I'm over it. <laughs>